buses in Essex. That would be ridiculous. Oh, with good reason, I suppose. Messy. Why? Oh. What? Oh, I see. Okay, so I uh, used to get buses quite a lot. And it's uh, a bit of a phenomenon that on buses, they seem to be magnets for... Weirdos. Well, you know, you, you, you could say weirdos. I, I wasn't going to use that phrase. Uh, but, you know, who am I to argue? <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a song about the uh, interesting characters I used to meet on the bus. <laughs> Because I have to tell you, I am very excited to see the other acts that are on. So the question was, are you all excited to see the other acts that are on? Yay! Good. They're all backstage eating biscuits. <laughs> Don't shatter the illusion. They're all backstage doing warm-ups and uh, uh, writing brand new songs that will be previewed, premiered here tonight. I was waiting to hear some yelling from backstage. <laughs> This is a song that rips off lots of other songs. You won't find it on Spotify because they tried to sue us. That's a 
true story. A long, long time ago, on a dark desert highway, I fell in love with a girl. And I did it my way, she said, get your motor running. We've got to get out of this place, there must be some kind of way out of here. Cause buddy, you're a boy, you're a big disgrace now. I'm a creep, I'm a winner. I'm a loser, baby. I'm a winner, I'm a loser, baby. Is this just fantasy? I said, man. Baby, you can drive my car You make me feel mighty real Unforgettable, that's what you are I feel love, I feel fine I feel alright You make me feel like a natural woman I feel like chicken tonight Cause I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo I'm a loser, baby Is this just fantasy? I said no And I swear I don't have a gun At first I was afraid And I'm not the only one And now the end is near And I swear I don't have a gun At first I was afraid And I'm not the only one Cause I'm a creep by the window I'm a loser baby Is this just fantasy? That's a true story. We uh, we recorded that, spent money recording it, and then tried to upload it to Spotify, and they said we couldn't because it was a cover version, which is not strictly true. Oh, well, you don't have to oh, argue, wasn't it? I mean, you can if you like. It makes me feel a little bit better, actually. It is exclusively on the CD version. But that's a very good point. It's exclusively on the CD version because we're not allowed to release it. So if you uh, go and pop over and speak to Simon at the back there. Basically, everyone here is called Simon tonight, honorary, <laughs> in honor, honorary fashion. Um, you can buy a cup with him. It's really good. Go. Although I'm slightly biased, perhaps. Oh, and it's got this song on it. Now this... <laughs> see that from here. What? <laughs> he's this bad when he's got his glasses on. Mess up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Much less a confrontation. So I think my 
time I met, I did walk. I'll be back. I'm gonna mow, 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 mow. I'm gonna mow. I'm gonna mow, 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 you might find other people who stop moaning about you. The shop said he didn't see me, he was too busy texting, which I found quite vexing. I mean, I'd only pop into the shop to buy a scratch card or two, and so I thought I'd take a walk to stop myself from grumping when I stepped in something. Something I didn't really want to get up my shoe I'm gonna mow, 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 mow I'm gonna mow I'm gonna mow, 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 mow All the way up I'm gonna mow, 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 mow I'm gonna mow Seen Opera Lely before? Yes! They're bloody good, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Phil Dolman, have you seen him before? Yes! He's rather good too, isn't he? <laughs> Guess what's coming? Have you seen the Hedge Inspectors yes! before? Yes! They're right too, aren't they? They're very good. They're good, lovely, lovely people, and they're very talented. And it's an honour to be sharing the uh, lineup with them tonight. We're going to do a song that isn't on the set list because, pff, you know. Makes a difference, I can't see it anyway. <laughs> well, he's missed one already, so. Have I? Oh shit, I should have. Yeah, sorry. We're going to go back and do that one. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I can see the set list. Which one are we going to do next, huh? We're gonna do, We're going to do the previous one next. So this is a multiple choice love song. This is basically, I kind of thought love songs are very specific. And you know you hear a song and it says, oh, I met you in this pub and, and you look like this and you have blonde hair and blue eyes or whatever. And I think, well, actually, that doesn't ring any bells for me. So I thought, well, I'll write a song that can appeal to anybody in any circumstance. So this is a multiple choice love song. It's called Delete as Appropriate. <laughs> By your brunette, slash red, slash grey, slash blonde, slash facial hair. You were the cutest boy, slash girl that I'd ever seen in this whole world. And you knocked me off my feet, slash bike, slash chair. Two, two, I 
just hope that I could kiss you, D, all of the above. Six months time, and I'm amazed to find that I am at love slash call slash therapy slash get. You're always on my mind, and so I just wanted to let you know I'm glad my sad slash sorry that we met. Choose your own. At this point during the set, I would ask, I say at this point during the set, like this is a fixed thing, it's not, we just make it as we go along. Ordinarily, before this song, I would say, is there anybody in the room named Kenny? And ordinarily, the answer is, oh, sorry. <laughs> apart from as Aaron has pointed out on occasion, the old drunken lady that goes, ooh, cool kid. <laughs> We've checked, they're not. Tonight, Matthew, I am confident that we have a Kenneth in the room, so this pleases me greatly, right? 
So, uh, Ken, give us a wave. We've got a bloody Kenny! Oh, we, we play to so many people and there's never a Kenny. So, Ken, uh, he doesn't know this yet, but he's going to come with us to every gig we do in the future, just so this bit doesn't fall flat on its face like it normally does, which is great. Also, on the subject of people coming to see us and coming with us and things, I would like to ask, is Amanda here somewhere? I thought it might be you. You're maintaining eye contact in a, 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 a terrifying way. It's lovely. No, it's... <laughs> Amanda, would you like to come up and play an instrument on this? So ladies and gentlemen, Amanda has come all the way from Australia, which is a country on the other side of the earth. And sorry, I, I, I don't think we need to discuss this, but I thought it'd be funny to get you up to play. Oh, yeah. You know this one. Amanda's in a band and they're excellent, and they do a version of this song, and it's possibly the greatest thing. It's, you, you totally did. And it's brilliant. So, as ego massages go, that's a great one. But what I would like you to do, Amanda, it's lovely to meet you, by the way. Shake hands. Formal, very British greeting. Um, I'd like you to play the recorder on this. I think you know where it goes. In, uh, in, in the song. <laughs> don't, don't, don't encourage her. Point out that I usually play bass, and usually. I can't actually play bass. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it. It doesn't really matter. Dave normally plays the recorder, and he's playing the drums at the same time. Particularly with no hands. So what I'd like you to do, if possible, could you use Aaron's mic? Is that alright? Oh, can you? I don't know. Maybe use mine. Oh, he's a bit taller than he That's alright, I'll just... Alright. Just sing through your chest, mate. So... I know, it's wonderful, isn't it? We'd have bought a little stool or something if we knew. <laughs> so you're going to play the recorder in the last verse of this song, which I think you know yeah. fairly well anyway. Uh, just, I, go for it. just go for it. This is going to be the best recorder solo you've ever heard until the Hedge Inspector's set. <laughs> Potentially. This is a song dedicated to Ken and also to Amanda and to all of you. This is called Kenneth. It's for anyone who's ever tried to learn a musical instrument. Uh, Which I suspect one or two. probably uh, is, is a few of you. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm excited. So <laughs> we. Kenneth bought a ukulele. Kenneth liked to play it daily. Kenneth liked to play it nightly. Ken's wife smashed it, and quite right. Well, it's just the way it goes Should have seen it coming, I suppose Well, it's just the way it goes Should have seen it coming, I suppose Kenneth thought he'd learn the kazoo Quite a foolish thing to do His wife reacted like he thinks she would do Now Kenneth's got a smash kazoo too well, it's just the way it goes Should have seen it coming, I suppose Well, it's just the way it goes Should have seen it coming, I suppose My one regret the hedgehog said My one regret the hedgehog said He's purchasing this water His daughter. His wife found out which terrified him. Now that record is stuck inside. Well, it's just the way it goes. Should have seen it coming, I suppose. Well, it's just the way it goes. Should have seen it coming, I suppose. Well, it's just the way it goes. 
see me coming, I suppose. Well, it's just the way it goes. Should have seen me coming, I suppose. That's the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> and I can say that because my wife and kids aren't here. <laughs> they're not, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. Okay, good. I mean, not good, but... Um... Oh, oh bloody hell. Okay. So anyway, on the subject of my wife and children, uh, I co-wrote this next song with my son when he was about, I don't know, four or five or something. And uh, we sat down one night, and he came up with an idea. He came up with the idea for this song, and we sat. And we kind of, I had my uke, and we just jammed. And out of it came a sort of song. And then um, he went up to bed, and I thought, oh, I'm going to make this into an actual song. And I kind of sat down and wrote it. And then I recorded it while he was out doing whatever it is that four or five year olds do down the pub, whatever. <laughs> um, a few days later, I played it to him and went, Hey, mate, I've got a great treat for you. Listen to this, you're going to love it. And I played it to him and he went, Yeah, it was alright. I preferred the one we did. <laughs> <sighs> so anyway, this is dedicated to my son Jack and also, for the hell of it, my daughter Katie. Down, I realized I was scared. Ba -da -ba. was relieved to find nobody there Then just as I had turned to leave I saw something on a chair A giant piece of cheese wrapped up in a red bow With a note addressed to me Then the next thing I know I woke inside a cage of sorts Three mice sat by my head was spinning, full of thoughts, and then the largest rodent said, we've got our retribution, oh yes, we've got our revenge, the years of persecution, and it finally reached an end, well you've hunted us for far too long, now it's time to turn the page, and then the mice broke into song, and danced around my cage. Singing We bought a man in a mansion Oh, I should have one of these Oh, the chimney is the man that just can't resist some cheese Singing We bought a man in a mansion Oh, I should have one of these Oh, the chimney is the man that just can't resist
So. I'd like to play the C chord for a little while. It's a good chord, one finger, as I think you all know. Someone would say, it's the best chord. Is it the best chord? What is the best chord? What's your favourite chord? Shout out. A what? C. Z. You're in England now, it's a Z. A Z. So anyway, I usually take this opportunity to introduce the members of the band. On the bass, I'd like you to give a massive warm round of applause to Aaron. <laughs> On the drums, Dangerous Dave. play a song that the band aren't expecting.